Winters here in the desert aren't full of constant snow and sub-zero temperatures, but the days do get cool enough to water your landscape less, a lot less. From November through February, mandatory watering restrictions limit landscape watering to one assigned day per week. Watering one assigned day a week in winter isn't just mandatory during our valley's prolonged drought. It's also a smart way to keep a weather eye on your outdoor water use. As landscapes go dormant in cool weather, they need far less water to stay healthy. You may see less color and slower growth rates in winter, but that's how plants manage cold with less resources and less water too. In the wintertime, we have shorter days with fewer hours of sunlight and lower temperatures. So photosynthesis, the way plants use energy, slows down. And as a result, so does the plant's growth rate, which means that the plants need less water in the wintertime. All valley residents and businesses have specific assigned watering days. To find your one assigned winter watering day per week, check your monthly water bill. You also can visit snwa.com. Simply type in your address to find your watering schedule. If you still need help, call 702-258-SAVE or your water provider. Now that you've verified your winter watering day, set your irrigation clock to water one day a week. Sunday is not an optional watering day. While most irrigation clocks are user-friendly, you can head back to snwa.com for how-to videos that offer quick and easy tips for adjusting your settings. You may want to make a few additional updates while you're at the clock, since the key to watering smart is all about maximizing the water you do apply. These tips can help ensure winter water efficiency and landscape health. In the wintertime, run your sprinkler system for your lawns um, in three cycles of about four minutes each cycle. Schedule the cycles in mid to late morning when the sun has already come up so that you can avoid uh, free frozen sidewalks as well as frost damage. If you still have dry spots, you can hand water with a hose at any time. For plants and trees watered by drip irrigation, run a single drip cycle of 30 to 90 minutes also on your assigned watering day. That's right, just one long drip cycle, one day a week in winter. How long you water will depend on your drip emitter volume. The lower your emitter volume, the longer your runtime. Drip delivers water more slowly, and this long, deep watering helps plants maintain a strong and deep root system throughout winter. Cacti and succulents need less water than traditional plants, and that's especially true in winter. While you may water them a few times each month in most seasons, many cacti do well with a soaking in November, followed by little to no water until February. Succulents outdoors will do well with a once a month watering in winter. With both cacti and succulents, avoid sitting water at the roots, especially when it's freezing. This may kill plants with low water needs. As you look out on a dormant winter landscape, you may worry about areas that look a bit lifeless. If you think some plant areas are dead and not just dormant as winter goes on, sit tight until early spring. Watch for buds and small signs of life. Often plants bounce back and bloom when the weather warms. As you keep an eye on plants, keep an eye on your irrigation system too. It's working less often, but water waste can still occur. You may receive a water waste fee for watering outside of your assigned watering day, as well as for water waste issues like runoff and overspray, both common with sprinklers. It might be tempting to water longer on your one assigned watering day, but this can cause water to spray or flow off of your property, and that's considered water waste. If you have a break or malfunction in your system that's spotted by water waste investigators, you'll generally be given 48 hours to resolve the issue. Lawn areas that are curved or narrow, or lawns that sit on a slope can be a constant headache since water runs off and sprays over. One way to eliminate the water waste as well as your maintenance time is to replace these areas with plants watered by drip systems, along with ground covers and organic or rock mulch. Learn how you can earn a rebate for doing so and find more winter watering tips at snwa.com. Less really is more. Cooler winter weather allows your landscape to thrive with less water. Rest assured that the Valley's watering restrictions were designed with the desert in mind, and do your part to water smart. Just one day a week, November through February. Reporting for Waterways, I'm Christine Vaughn.